All right, so if you read day one of our article and you thought to yourself, hmm, it's actually quite easy to become yeah. a YouTuber. Well, actually, here are some things that you might have to think about before you start making your own videos. Now, the article says, there's more to becoming a YouTuber than being funny or good looking. Okay. Yeah, you can't just rely on your good looks, right? You have to do something more. So there's more to means that there is more to A, than B. For example, we can say there's more to life than staying indoors all day, right? Go outside, see the sun, there's a lot to do. <laughs> Or there's more to the story than you think. Okay, so you know, there is, there are, 这个呢就表示有没有哦。所以呢我们说 there is more A than B. OK， 就表示呢 ，A 比 B 更多，表示呢 ，A 这个呢，并不是你想的这么简单这样子的意思哦。那注意到我们在课文里面呢，这边 there's more to，OK，、okay, 这个 to 呢，注意到它是一个介系词，所以我们后面是接名词，或者是呢，像我们这边 become 呢，它是变成了 becoming， 变成要加上 ving 动名词哦。嗯哼 ，Next the article says first you need a good camera, lighting. So it's the lights and sound equipment. So that's true. When you want to make a YouTube video, you want to make sure it looks nice. More people will want to look at it. So we need a good camera. We need lighting. So lighting is basically、um, how people use light in a movie, play, or TV, and it makes you kind of your skin look good, and it makes the background brighter or something. And then we also see sound equipment. Now equipment is basically the supplies or tools you use for a special. Purpose. So here we talk about sound equipment. So maybe you need a microphone, and you need a good microphone as well, so people can actually hear the sound.、Um, we also talked about cameras and lighting. So those are called video equipments. So video equipment could mean like your video camera. What kind of camera you're using? OK， 所以呢，这边看到很多单词哦，在当一个 YouTuber 之前要准备一些，比方说呢，我们讲 lighting， lighting 就是指照明设备哦，让你的皮肤看起来更漂亮啊，或是更亮。那 equipment 呢，它只是泛指各种的设备哦，例如刚刚 Tiffany 讲的，你可能呢音效的设备，你就要有麦克风啊，有音响啊。那摄影设备，你可能要有摄影机，或者是呢，你可能要有照相机，或是你的手机等等等。equipment 就泛指这些设备。嗯哼 ，The article says. This will help your video and sound quality be the best they can be.、Mm. That's true. Usually, when I watch YouTube videos, if I see the quality is not so good、mm. or it's very blurry and dark, I think, "Ew, looks kind of scary. <laughs> I don't want to watch that." But if it's really nice and beautiful, you think, "Wow!" Ah,、oh, I'd like to keep on yeah, watching. Yeah, <laughs> I want to watch it too. OK， 所以呢，这篇课文就讲说，因为呢，有了这些设备呢，它可以帮助呢你的影片，让你的品质更好。品质哦 ，We saw the word quality. Hmm, that's right. Quality is our vocabulary word. It's spelled Q U A L I T Y. Quality. It's a noun. It means how good or bad something is. So we can talk about sound quality. So how good or bad the sound sounds. So if it's good, for example, you have good sound.、Uh, you need good sound quality to make. A CD or to make yes, an album,、yes. we want to hear the voices clearly. We want to hear the music clearly.、Um, we can also talk about food quality. Okay, how good or bad something tastes. If something has is a, is a, is good, has good food quality, it means、yeah. it tastes good. Maybe it's prepared well. Use very nice ingredients. Now, when we're talking about YouTube videos, sometimes we want to watch videos that are in high quality videos,、oh. so they can be in HD. So that means that the videos are in very very good shape. That means you can see things very clearly. For example, we can say. The use of gas cars affects the air quality.、Mm. Okay, so in the quality, this word is quality. Okay, for example, we just said in the article, these cars that use the gas cars affect the air quality. Okay, for example, we just said in the article, these cars that use the gas cars affect the air quality. Okay, for example, we just said in the article, these cars that use the gas cars affect the air quality. Okay, for example, we just said in the article, these cars that use the gas cars affect the air quality. Okay, for example, we just said in the article, these cars that use the gas cars affect the air quality. Okay, for example, we just said in the article, these cars that use the gas cars affect the air quality. Okay, for example, we just said in the article, these cars that use the gas cars affect the air quality. Okay, for example, we just said in the article, these cars that use the gas cars affect the air quality. Okay, for example, we just said in the article, these cars that use the gas cars affect the air quality. Okay, for example, we just said in the article, these cars that use the gas cars affect 没有那么好的，这个就见仁见智喽。嗯哼 ，definitely for me, quality over quantity. Exactly. <laughs> right, so next, the article says, of course, you then need to spend lots of times,、uh, lots of time editing your videos to make them exciting. So, right, you film the stuff and you have to kind of cut 
and edit your videos. Okay, so we here see that the text writer says that you must spend a lot of time to edit your videos. We here see that we use a lot of time to spend lots of time. What do we do next? Pay attention that we use editing. We use the verb to become the verb in the sentence. Spend lots of time editing your video. Spend lots of time to edit your videos. Spend lots of time to edit your videos. So we saw the word edit. It's spelled E D I T. Edit. It's a verb, and it means to prepare a film, recording, or photo to be seen or heard. Now, usually movies are made by directors, and they film different kinds of scenes, and they can film hours and hours of videos. Then, what they do with this video is they go into the studio and they edit them. So they don't show you the the movie as one long video. They actually cut it into different small videos or clips to make the movie scary, to make it. Exciting or to make it funny. For example, we can say, "My brother edited our family vacation video into an hour and a half movie." Okay, edit 这个字呢，它这个动词就是编辑的意思哦。你可以呢编辑一个文章，或是呢剪辑一支影片。例如呢，刚刚 Tiffany 讲的例句哦，他的弟弟呢把这个他们家族旅行的影片呢剪辑成一支一个半小时的影片。那有的时候呢，你也可以代换成 revise 修订哦。那 edit 就是编辑、剪辑的意思。嗯哼。So besides editing the videos, right? The article says, of course, you also need to spend time writing scripts. So you You don't have to, you know, go on. You don't, that happens like、uh, the way we do this is because we don't want to go on air. We don't want to make a video, and then you don't want to say nothing at all. Don't know what to say. So you write a script. A script is basically a plan for what is going to be said or done in a play, movie, or a TV show. So、um, a lot of TV shows, there's a script written first, so we, so the actors know what lines to say or what to do, and this makes the TV show exciting for you guys. OK， 所以呢，我们看到这些 YouTuber 他准备了这么多给戏，更重要的是呢，他还要写这个 script。script 呢，就是剧本的意思喽，脚本的意思。所以呢，在录你的影片之前呢，你呢必须要写下脚本或是你的剧本，这样子你在录的时候，你才知道，哎，你等一下要讲什么，或是呢你要做什么事情，不然呢，你站在摄影机前面可能一片空白，什么事情都做不了。Yeah， we don't want to， you know， not say anything and make it really awkward for people. All right， so next the article says choose topics. That you care about, because viewers can tell whether you really care or not. So, for example, if I create a video about video games,、okay. I don't really play a lot of computer video games, and if I talk about it, a lot of people will know that. Okay,、uh, she no, doesn't no, no, really no. like it. I don't want to watch anymore. Bye. You will click out of my video. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so. The viewer, so a viewer is a person who looks at a video or a movie. So we watch a lot of YouTube videos. So we are called YouTube viewers. Okay. Okay. So, 呢相对于 YouTuber， 我们这些观赏的人呢，我们就是 view view， 就是观看的。后面再加上 er， 就变成了 viewer， 也就是观众的意思。那在这边呢，我们用到这个字 whether 哦 ，whether 在这边呢翻译为是否。我注意到我们是连接在一起 ，whether。Or not, whether 后面加一个子句，再加上 not. OK， 你也可以换成 if。那在这边呢，它的意思就是是否哦。OK， 这些呢 viewers， 这些呢观众呢，他们 can tell， 可以呢。分辨出什么呢 ？Whether you really care or not， 你是否呢真的在乎 ？Whether 呢在这边就可以这样子使用。Here we see our vocabulary word topic. It's spelled T O P I C. Topic. It's a noun and it means the subject or the main idea. So we talked about earlier that YouTubers need to make their own content, so they can pick different topics to talk about. So if I am a YouTuber and I want to talk about Makeup. Then I need to think about different topics. For example, oh, what is the best eyeshadow, or what is the best foundation to use? How do I take care of my skin? Those are called topics, and topics are usually a general idea. For example, we can use it in a sentence like this: The topic for our report at school is planets in outer space. OK， 所以 topic 这个名词呢，它呢就是主题的意思哦。例如呢，刚刚 Tiffany 讲的例句了，我们呢在学校要做这个报告的主题呢，就是有关于这个外太空的行星。那这个字呢，它也可以翻译为话题，你要讨论的事情。比方说，我们这个课文在讲的 YouTuber， 在影片里面呢，你要带出什么样的主题？你的影片要讲什么样的议题？那你也可以换成其他字，比方说 subject 或是 issue 这些主题议题，你要在影片中讨论的事情。Right, so we can also say if I had my own YouTube ch channel, the subject for today is 
blah 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 blah. All right, so next, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. blah 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 blah. That's my topic. All right, next, the article says, if they feel your passion, then they'll be more engaged. So that's very true. If they feel like you really really love this, people are like, oh, me too. I want to learn more about it as well. <laughs> OK， 所以呢，在这边课文就讲说，如果观众呢能够感受到你的热情，他们呢就会更加喜爱你哦。那热情呢，在这边我们课文用的单词就是 passion。Right, passion is spelled P A S S I O N. Passion, it's a noun and it means the strong feeling you have for something or someone. You get very <laughs> excited about it, and it's something that you deeply like or you really, really care about. For example, we can say we could see it was Fran's passion to cook and make people happy. Okay, passion 这个字呢，刚刚讲了就是热情的意思。你后面呢可以加上 for， 比方说呢 ，I got a passion for music. Okay， 我很热爱音乐，非常喜欢。那补充给大家呢 ，passionate 就是它的形容词哦，形容有热情的。例如呢、mm. ，a passionate speech. Okay，、wow. 充满热情的演讲，或者是呢 ，I'm passionate about music. 啊、哦，我对音乐呢非常有热情。I love it very much. Passion, passionate 就是这样子的意思。What are you passionate about? Uh, video games. <laughs> <laughs> On the,、uh, or is it the computer video games or like? Ah,、uh, I play console games. Ah,、uh, yes. PS4 or yes. something. Yes. <laughs>、oh, okay, so you're very passionate about your video games. All right. So next, we saw the word engage. It's spelled E N G A G E. Engage. It's a verb, and it means to make people feel attracted by something, or、um, to be really busy with an activity. So, for example, he is engaged in research. It means Uh, this person is very, very busy researching something, or we can say the child was completely engaged by the video game.、Uh, Sam, well, Sam was completely engaged by the video game. It means that he was very, very into it. He was very busy、um, playing this video game. Now we also use engage in a different way.、Um, you can be engaged. Okay, when you use be engaged here, it means something completely different. It means it's a promise that you will marry someone else. Ah,、oh. mm-hmm. oh, the ring. <laughs> okay, but let's take a look at using engage like it is in the sentence here. It says the magician engaged the audience with lots of tricks. So he made the audience feel, wow, this is so cool, and the people were interacting with. This magician as well. Okay, engage 呢，在这边呢是表示吸引的意思啊、哦。你可以呢说 attracted 这个字呢，也可以指投入、从事、参展，或者是像我们刚刚讲说订婚了。She's engaged， 她已经订婚了。那在课文这边呢，回到我们这个吸引的意思哦。刚刚的例句呢，就是说 the magician 这个呢魔术师呢，他呢吸引他的观众用什么东西呢？用他很多很多不同的魔术戏法。嗯哼。Next, the article says, don't be afraid to be dramatic on scene. So yeah. I agree. I think、um, on YouTube, you really want to stand out. So it's okay to do something really crazy, out、um, of the box, <laughs> something out of the box. But also, just be be careful for your own safety. I know a lot of people make videos and they do a lot of dangerous things, and it it's actually a bad example. <笑> OK， 好，那课文呢这边是讲说要当网红呢不能害羞。Drama，Drama drama 这个名词呢就是指戏剧哦。那在这边呢是用形容词 dramatic，dramatic dramatic 呢就是非常夸张的、哦。你想红呢，当然就要做一点夸张的事情，但是呢要注意安全哦。嗯哼 ，Don't do anything silly. All right, the article then says last but not least. Be consistent. Now, when we use the phrase "last but not least," it means the last thing you want to talk about, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's not as important as the previous things you talked about. So maybe you have a list of things you want to say, and then there's a last thing that you want to say, but it doesn't mean it's not as important. So we can say "last but not least." OK， 英文写作呢，里面我们很常需要用到条列式说明，不只是英文写作，在中文也很常用到哦。那这个时候呢，我们很常就会需要用到这个叙述的用法。我们呢说叙述就是 first、second、third， 第一、第二、第三，这个是叙述。那我们讲的 one、two、three， 这个是基数。那你在条列式的时候，你就可以讲说 first blah blah blah， second blah blah blah， third blah blah blah， 就是第一步、第二步、第三步。那呢，在我们今天的课文里面呢，他就在讲说、哦，这个要成为网红，你要准备很多事情，像我们刚刚讲要准备仪器啊，要准备脚。脚本啦，但是呢，我们这边用到的这个说法了，最后一点。
，last but not least， 指的呢就是，哎，这个是我最后最后要讲的，但是呢，它不是最不重要的，一样要给我注意听这样子的意思喽。嗯哼 ，so we have to be consistent in our topics and the things that we say. So consistent is an adjective and it means to happen or develop in the same way, and it just means that you don't jump from topic to topic. So if you do decide to have a YouTube channel about makeup, then Talk about makeup. Don't talk about、yes. politics one day, and then next you talk about finance, and then you talk about fashion, and then you talk about video games. People will get confused. The viewers will feel very confused. So if you're all about makeup, stick to that topic. OK， 凡事呢最难就在持之以恒哦，所以 consistent 呢就是表示你要始终如一哦，你必须要持续产出，而且你的内容必须要是一致的。我们可以讲说这个名词 consistency， 你的东西呢必须是要维持一致的内容，不要呢今天讲美妆，明天要讲政治，哎，这样你的观众呢可能不知道你在讲什么，所以呢你要一直保持的 consistent 就是始终如一，持续的产出。接近的内容，这样你的观众才会一直追踪你喽。嗯哼 ，And then the article says, write and make videos regularly. So that's important. We also, that's also a way to be consistent as well. OK， 所以刚刚讲说 consistent 是一致的。那在这边呢，我们讲另外一个词 regularly。OK， 就表示呢，你要产出你的内容呢是要规律而且经常的产出。所以 ，Could you please explain? Yeah, of <laughs> regularly? course. Regularly is our vocabulary word, and spell R E G U L A R L Y. It's an adverb. Regularly, <laughs> and it means on a regular basis. So it's quite often, very often. So bakers need to check the cakes. Regularly, regularly in the <laughs> oven. Okay, it's that they have to do that because they want to make sure it doesn't burn,、uh, or like they want to make sure that something doesn't go wrong. Or you can get a regularly checkup at the doctor's. It means that you go there from time to time and very often make sure that okay, you're healthy, everything is in good shape.、Um, we can also use it in a sentence like this: My dad and his friends play golf together regularly. That means my dad and his friends go play golf quite often. OK， regular 这个形容词呢，就是规律的、定期的。那在这边呢，我们是用副词哦， regularly 就是呢规律的。比方说呢，你做一个 YouTuber， 你每个礼拜五上传影片，固定而且不间断，这就是 regularly。那呢， Tiffany 刚刚的例句就讲到说呢，他的爸爸跟呢朋友们呢，经常的会去打高尔夫球，规律而且定期的。嗯哼， although it's hard work， making a video is the easy part， getting fans is the hard part。嗯，没有错。但是呢，要怎么样让更多人来追踪你呢？嗯、mm, ，You'll need to try your best to promote yourself on social media. So to try your best is to do your best. So do your best in getting people to follow you on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Weibo. <laughs> okay, try one's best. 表示呢，就是尽你的全力哦，尽你的全力呢来 promote， 也就是宣传你自己哦。那在哪里宣传呢？我们说 social media 就是指社群网站。Lastly, the article says this will mean more people following you. 嗯，没错，你多推销自己呢，就有越来越多人会追踪你喽。The more viewers you have, the better chance you will have of making money from being a world famous YouTuber. Okay, 所以呢，最后我们这边讲到了，他说呢。More 怎样 ，better 怎样 ，the more 怎样，逗号后面 ，the better 怎样，就是越多怎么样，后面就越好怎么样，这样子的用法喽。All right, so let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back with our for you chat.